All customers are interesting. People have got a story. Hi, I'm Tony Shields. I'm the founder of Shields Stamps and Coins. We handle an enormous range of things. We have stamps, coins, banknotes, military medals, and now sporting cards and other memorabilia. I started collecting stamps when I was five. I had an aunt that worked at the United Nations in Europe and she used to send me over a bag of stamps every year for Christmas, which got me quite excited. The excitement of just handling things from all around the world and seeing the artwork and the history was fascinating and still is. Just to give you a little bit of an idea, we have coins going back to 2,500 years ago coins of Cleopatra and Julius Caesar and many of the famous ancient names. We also have the 2022 latest coins that have been issued for the frontline workers. We've got customers that have been with us uh, for nearly 40 years. We do our best to actually get to know people because A, it's sociable and B, it helps us actually better supply the things that interest them. Everybody's interesting. We had a couple come in and one of them said, I'm collecting Falkland Island stamps. But the lady that was with him said, and I collect Afghanistan stamps. Now that, you would have to admit, is a very unusual mix. I said, do you people do mine removal? As in land mines. And that is exactly what they did. But it was a fascinating conversation we had. I've done stamp exhibitions now in 22 different countries. That's been a big boon to our business because, of course, it gives you that diversity. We've got markets that a lot of Australian dealers don't have because we've physically gone out to meet the people in the marketplace around the world. We met General Tri Sitano, who was the Vice President of Indonesia when I was doing an exhibition there. I've met the Angog, or the King of Malaysia, Princess Mary in Denmark. I met at a stamp show, and that was quite amazing because they said, oh, we're arranging her to do a royal visit to you. <laughs> and I found that was quite, um, quite amazing. I'd never thought of it that way. There's been a huge impact in the last two years to our business. We have continued to trade online. We have, during COVID, obviously done a lot of stock work and a lot of pricing of new material. Any of our collecting customers now have a much bigger offering here than we've ever had before. We have Australian notes going back to the early 1800s. Some of those are quite rare. Stamps, we have them from 1840, from the first stamp ever issued in the world, which was the Penny Black stamp, right through from there up to date, and from most countries you could imagine. Letters going back to the 1400s from Italian wine merchants, an Antarctic polar medal, postcards and mail that were carried on the German Zeppelins, early flight covers that were carried on some of the first flights around the world to carry mail, envelopes and stamps to do with all sorts of other subjects, such as disaster mail. We have a very wide range of military medals from around the world, but primarily Australian and British. One of the popular services we offer is medal mounting. So we can mount your medals if they've never been done, Books, literature, albums, catalogues, all the things you need to handle your material properly. Most Australians are passionate about their sport. And in recent years, we have dramatically expanded our stock of football cards. We have approximately half a million cards at the moment. We also have soccer cards, cricket, a lovely range of basketball cards. Our range is bigger and better than most places you'll find in Australia. To get the full picture, you really need to come in and visit. It's absolutely an Aladdin's cave, but it's a fairly organised Aladdin's cave. The shop is COVID safe and we follow all the government regulations. It's wonderful to be able to physically get back into a shop again now. If you come in and ask me for something, the chances are I can put my hand on something to show you within a few minutes. There's no substitute for actually being able to see the coins or the stamps, pick them up, to wander around the shop and see the huge range of things that we've got. You might come in here to buy a stamp, but end up walking out with an ancient Roman coin because it's appealing and cheap.